Hi there, Brian again. Still in my garage. Cold outside. Right. Winning and losing. That's what this lesson is about. And winning and losing is life. Because we're winning situations and losing situations during our lifetime. Um, and that is right from when we're born. So, how do we explain, how do we understand what winning and losing means? We know it's a drama of life because it is life itself. We all have to learn how to lose things, how to be second, third and fourth or nowhere at all. And also, if we're lucky enough, we can become first. And sporting activities is the only way I can explain things to you. Um, when we compete against each other, we can either do it as individuals in the boxing ring, on, on a judo mat, or as a group in the football field, netball field, whatever the case may be. Even snooker, nothing to do with combat, but it's going to be a winner and loser. Sometimes a draw, but very rarely. So we have to cope with what goes on when we lose and what goes on when we win, and even if we're in the middle and we have a draw. Win some, lose some. The thing is, who tells us whether we are winners or losers? Well, they are judges, referees, and like us, they are human. They will make bad decisions and good decisions according to what the situation they are assessing. And it's not easy to be a judge or a referee. Because you get people at you all the time. And sometimes when you're the referee and you have to put a, a person's hand up and, um, that the judges have judged and you know in your heart and soul that, that you don't agree with that judgment but you've got to put the hand up. It's you to get it, the referee. The judges don't get it, the referee gets it. Because the referee actually did the physical part of putting the hand up. So there's a lot involved with winning and losing, not just the winner and loser, but the people that have got a judge as well. Because they are all different opinions. There's also attitudes and egos within the field of um, play. Who taught us? Who actually teaches us how to cope with a win and, and a lose? I know there's loads of excuses or reasons, and, and there's a big difference between excuses and reasons. Excuses I can't stand. Reasons I can understand. But sometimes you keep on winning all the time, and that's great if you're that skillful when you keep winning. A, you've got to find out who you beat, what quality have you beaten. Uh, have you been involved with a lot of mismatches Mismatches where you're much better than the other person, or vice versa? Um, and then it builds up to a reputation, your reputation. Oh, he's a good fighter. Oh, he's not a bad fighter. Mm, not, not sure about him. Everybody's judging in their own ways, in their own opinion, about the person that they are looking at or supporting. Or they want someone to beat this particular person because they don't want it. And then of course you've got your showmanship involved where you get uh, interviews and people are having a go at each other. That's all ticket selling. That's all about if we if we get in there and have a go at each other, you know, I hate you, I hate you, blah, 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 blah. And when they go away, they're going to sell tickets because they want to, the people want to come and see it. That's it. But I don't like that, personally. It's only my, it's my opinion. I'm judging now. I don't like that. 
I'd rather have two people come along, do it properly, demonstrate what sportsmanship's all about, compete, win, lose, accept it, shake hands, go. That's how it should be done. But uh, some people like to have the reputation of being a big man. Oh, look at me. Me, 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 me. Forgetting about this, people out there that are looking on, young people that they could be influencing the wrong way, which happens. And the other side is, when do you stop? When are you at the age when you've got to stop what you're doing, what you love doing, and, and you can't stop because it's in your blood? So winning is all about going in to compete, competing, accepting the judge, although you might not agree with them, because sometimes we know in our heart and soul that we won that fight, but we lose a decision, and the other way around, where you know you are, oh, I've lost this fight, I've definitely lost this fight, and you're standing there waiting for the other guy to have his hand put up, and your hand goes up. Shocked. That happened to me quite a lot of times when I was a youngster, and I used, my, my Mickey Lynch, his name was, he's dead and gone now, he was my trainer, he said, look, you lost that fight, and you know it. So I know, I want you get in that changing room now, and you shake games with your opponent and you swap, swap, swap trophies and that's what he taught me to do and I, I teach that to all my, all my fighters as well so it's sportsmanship it's how you deal with how you cope with the decision and it's not easy you have your good wins and you have your bad wins what do I mean by that well if you go into a competition and you have a bad win, it means, in my opinion, I'm the judge in this now, that you wasn't ready for it, or you didn't train enough for it, or you didn't train the correct way for it, didn't prepare for it. If you win like that, obviously that's a bad loss, because you wasn't ready for it. If you did train for it, and the other person trained for it, and the better man won, that would be a good loss. And I can use my own son, Stephen, he's here somewhere, he's up here somewhere, there's Stephen, who is a good fighter. But he had his moments of not being ready. Now, I used to call him, and he knew that if he had a bad loss, I wouldn't go into the changing room to congratulate him. If he had a good loss, I would go into the changing room and congratulate him. Said it was a good bloody fight. You know, the bloke beat you f f fair and square, but damn good fight. He knew he, knew he was in a fight. Um, so that's a, that's a good loss. But a bad loss is a person that... Um, oh, and by the way, he'll have all your mates in there and, and, and the girlfriends with one, oh, you won that fight, that was the wrong decision, and blah, blah, blah. All these, all these you know, what I call um, armchair critics and, you know, supporters, uh, all, all this, I mean, you know, uh, fags in their mouth, drink, 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 big bellies, unfit. Um, and they're telling Stephen about, oh, you should have won that fight, blah, blah, blah. For a start, you shouldn't have people in your changing rooms. And he did. And not only him, other fighters. And I used to be in the changing rooms and see all these bloody women in there, all the bloody blokes in there. Who the hell are they? They shouldn't be in here. The only people that should be in there are the trainers and the fighters. You know, getting the fighters ready. But it was more like a bloody party. And when these things happened, my son lost. Bad loss, because he allowed it to happen. Um, on one occasion, he was fighting a, 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 a good fighter um, who was, I think, uh, rated 18 in the boxing world, rated 18, which was quite good. And no one, no one, no one would box him, 
They'd kickbox him and things like that, but not boxing. But Stephen did. So, uh, Stephen, my son, was uh, he'd fight anybody. Like me, I'd fight anybody. He wouldn't duck and die from anybody. He always in there and wanted to fight the best. He wanted to get experience, and that's how he done it. So he had a lot of, lot of courage and a lot of guts and a lot of um, good attitude. But also, he had bad attitude. He allowed people to um, mislead him and guide him the wrong way. For example, he was fighting this guy who was training hard and I was watching him. And he was training, he should be training, getting ready for the fight, get ready for the, you know, no messing around. Stephen had a, had a change room, he hardly used it. What was he doing? Walking around, talking to his mates, and chatting, and it was a big pie to him. And we had a phone call saying, or he had a phone call saying that, no, oh, somebody that, um, I won't mention any names, but somebody wanted to see him, who was very close to him, run out of petrol. What did he do? He's running around the petrol place, he's trying it with a can, trying to get petrol in the car, so this person can come see him fight. Right, it wasn't he was fighting. He wasn't fighting it. Uh, that wasn't Stephen Dossett fighting in that ring. And I said to a fellow called Gordon Dudley, a friend of mine, he's going to get knocked out in this fight, I'll tell you. And Gordon said to me, Are you sure? Yeah, I know. I, I know it. I feel it in my bones. He's not, he's not ready for it. He's messing about. So he was influenced by idiots. And this is what happens to fighters, What good fighters. I've seen so many good fighters who are influenced by their mates and their, their girlfriends and the idiots, what I call the idiots. They are idiots and they're not concerned. If they was concerned, they'd still say, no, let Stephen, let Stephen work, you know, I want to see him in the ring. Not chatting and talking, it was a big bloody party. So that was a bad loss. And I didn't go to change the room because I was disgusted for him to, to do it. So anyway, he learned over these things. He made mistakes. I made my mistakes. I learned from him. He made his mistakes and he didn't learn from them. He kept on doing it and getting a lot of bad losses. But all good fights. But you always fall good, 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 uh, uh, good quality fighters. So that's not knocking my son. That's telling you the truth because this is about a lesson. This is about being truthful, not not giving a lot of old rubbish and bowl, not sneaking around the corners, not putting smoke screens up, all right? Telling you how it is. And he learned from that. So when he retired, he started to come back. And he didn't want to retire. <laughs> he wanted to carry on. And I said, well, if you carry on, I said, me and you're going to fall out because, you know, now you're getting to the age now where you should be passing your knowledge on to younger people, which he's doing now. And he's and, and a great instructor, uh, a great coach. And... Um, and a lovely personality, so well liked, and uh, got a lot of friends, which is good. Well, I say good, and I say friends um, very lightly because uh, a friend to me is when you're stuck, they're there. When you need them, they're there. But sometimes most of most of them are not there when you need them. They've, they've done a run, or they come up with all these kind of excuses. Oh, I can't, can't, oh, I can't, oh, I can't. So, so we've all got to learn, we've all, we, we we're all surrounded by people like that. So it's all about winning and losing, not only in, in sport, in life. Learning, well, I thought that person was a friend of mine, or they, that those people were friends of mine, and, uh, well... I won there because I now know the truth, but I lost because I allowed them to do what they wanted me to do, and there was no need for me to do it. So there's a win and lose there, you see, so it's all part of life. It's not all about sport, it's about how you win, win in situations and lose in situations. And I've lost many situations in my lifetime, and um, I, I have learned from them in, in many cases, and I have not learned. I've had to go through the same same mistake three or four times before I've learned. But I'm 81 now, and my old limbs ain't like I used to be. I can't do like what I used to do, but 
um, I still play at my level. He says again, I win. I'm a winner there. I'm a winner because a lot of 81 year olds uh, I find that, that can't hardly move. And But when I move it hurts. Rheumatism, uh, muscles, joints and everything else, it hurts when I move. When I, when I, I go for that punch bag, I don't really want to do it, but I push myself forward. And that's me. But some people don't do it. But when I look at these people that don't do it, and, and, and I say, well, yeah, I've won. I'm a winner here because um, I'm not a bad 81-year-old. And when I look at them, I go, shit, I don't want to be there. You know what I mean? So it's all about winning and losing in life and all about being good. Now, how do you lose... I remember a situation where one fighter lost when he felt he won. And we're going back to the changing rooms and I was behind him and what happened was this guy, he got all of it, he had his trophy, his second, his, his, his loser's trophy, nice trophy, he threw it against the wall and carried on. Like a little baby that lost his dummy. And, and this person called himself a fighter. That's not a fighter, it's a baby. Still with a dummy stuck in his mouth. And I told him so. He was out of order. No, oh, I won that fight. I, won. I said, well, I know you won that fight, but you lost the decision and you've been coped with it like a proper sportsman should. Not not run away like a like little boy and throw your dummy out of your pram. And I'll give him a rollicking. He apologised afterwards, but anyway... I've been in so many situations where I've seen uh, uh, competitors not only in the ring, on the football field as well, when the decision goes against them, they go and put their dummy back in their mouths and start, you know, and say, oh, well, that, he's a referee, I don't agree with him, but he's a referee and that's it, done, finished, all over. Might have a discussion afterwards and... Uh, um, the referee might even try and say, yeah, I, th I think I did, did make a mistake there, but that's afterwards. Afterwards. And the referees make mistakes, and they have discussions afterwards, a referee's meeting, and say, well, you know, oh, yeah, I think I did, I could have done better than that. They discuss. Um, and, of course, you've got football players also doing a little dive and uh, um, making out or trying to get a penalty when... when um, uh, 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 not the right way, you know, trying to fool the referee, and this is what happens. Win and losing decisions, making decisions is difficult. Being a referee, and I've been a referee, it's very, very difficult, but you, you've got to be in a position to be, it's your ring, you're the boss, you're the boss in that ring, um, and when you, when you say, if you have an argument with your corner man, you know, you shut him up. You know, it's your, it's your, this is your ring, not his. And sometimes you get a conflict between the corner men um, and the other corner men, and you've got to be the person in between. You've got to make a decision. So are you going to win that decision? Are you going to lose it? Are they arguing? Are they going to win the decision? Are they going to put their point of view over? Are they put their point of view over? And you're stuck in the middle. And all these are going, all these winning and losing situations are going on in, 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 a, in, in a confused wilderness. So, that's winning and losing. And then we come to qualifications and experience. Is there a qualification for experience? When you're making a judgment yourself, you're judging somebody, not only in sport, it could be an attitude at home. You've got brother and sister, sister, children, all arguing with each other. You have got to find out, I've got to sort this out. Will I win this one, or will I lose this one, or will it be a neutral? And they're arguing, because they're trying to win and lose the argument, and you've got to work out, hang on, they're on a winner. They're competing at home here, because they're arguing with each other. 
Um, it can happen between a wife and a husband. It can happen between a brother and a brother, a sister and a sister. So when we talk about a win and lose, it's not all about sport. It's all about life. So now we know a little about that. Um, are you going to get up in the morning and look at life and say, I'm only, I wonder how many wins I'm going to have today and I wonder how many losses I'm going to have today because that's what it's all about. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye. Brian Dossett signing off.